Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a tutorial on my piece, my tango called Tango Nights. It's for intermediate players. So you need to have a little bit of experience with nylon fingerstyle playing to, to really handle this piece, but it's not that difficult. And I think if you like some of my other arrangements that you'll enjoy this one. So let's get stuck in. LGM members get access to all my arrangements and sheet music, which you can go to the link above. So this is piece in E minor, and we're gonna start with the first bar, which is an open E string and then. So really all we've got is a an ascending melody along the second string. And it's really nice sometimes to, to play up a string. As guitarists, we often go this way, but it's really expressive and evocative to move this way, almost like a, a violinist would. Uh, and it's kind of in the key, well, we're kind of using the uh, E harmonic minor scale because we've got the D sharp. I like to linger on this G and then, so this is the melodic bar and then we move into our accompaniment bar, which is, so we've just got these um, crotchets on B and G and then the bass, and this is gonna continue throughout, which sort of gives it the tango feel. And then we move uh, to the third bar. So we've gone from E minor, and now we're going to be in A minor. Like that. So again, the bass moving with the thumb. The kind of tango feel. Keep going. So we've got the, the A sharp, the leading tone to the B. Which I do by sliding the second finger across. And I complete the B chord like that and then move across and then we're in fourth position now so I'm playing the B now on the seventh fret of this of the E string uh, and then and then slide up like that so a little bit of a trill on on the B So instead of doing, I do it here. You could also do a harmonics there. So now we're going to play the verse again, but an octave higher. So we're going to go. Okay, so we're moving this octave higher. So mostly on the uh, first string, up to the fifteenth fret. Linger on that. Down to the seventh, with the E in the bass. The nice thing is, is that we've still got the second and third string open. We can continue as the accompaniment and then the bass here. So you have to be willing to do a little bit of a stretch because we're using two and four here. Again, you can slide up like that. Now we go to fifth position because we're playing A minor. Again, to get the E, F sharp, we do need to do a little bit of a stretch there. A little bit of a stretch. And then we're gonna keep going. And so we're basically putting a chord there, a chord there, and back to there. They're all A minor chords. So it requires a little bit of shifting from fifth position to eighth position. And then we go B and we're playing E minor thirds now, like that. Thirds, okay. All right, and then B7, and then, and then it's really sixths. And we just add the sixth below, which I'm playing with those two fingers, I and A. And then we end up back in E minor. So then we go into this sort of accelerando section. We're going to go play some arpeggios, which is an e, E7 chord, or E7 arpeggio. So we're gonna go sort of A 
minor kind of pattern. And then we go to F sharp. F sharp 7. And we end up with uh, a B chord. And then we have a E minor chord. D7. chord with the G bass. And that finishes that section. Then we're going to move into a more fluid section, which is uh, kind of semi-quaver driven. And lots of open strings. So we're going to go a little bit more of an Italian feel here, sort of classical romantic. Uh, and we're sort of moving this pattern. Starting with the middle finger, M, I, M, A. And then we go to the, the, the pattern changes here. Now we're going to go I, M, I, A. Okay. Because of the open string, you get this slight sort of unusual sound where the, uh, the melody is moving higher, moving lower as we move to a high string. All right, so it's... Again, same finger pattern over the B chord. We've still got the open second string open. And then more sixths with this open B string. And that repeats. Move into sort of the final section part of this of this section, which is is uh, you could call it an E uh, it's kind of a diminished chord but really I'm thinking more like an E7 flat 9 and then A minor so the melody is continuing on the first string and then a D7 and we've got a G arpeggio here sort of land there arpeggio again E minor arpeggio and then so a, this is a diminished arpeggio starting on A sharp you could also play that I just like to do it over cross string and then we end up back at the start Instead of going to the E minor, I do sort of an interrupted cadence. I go to a C chord, slide, and then pull off to an E minor. Again, up it diminished, B7. And that's the end of the piece. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.